All right, I'm back and I built all of these other curves, right? So if we look at this guy in east elevation, you've got a series of offsetting sort of curves going on. These are a little different on the bottom, but these at the top are offsetting. Um, so if I go back to my 3D view, right? Um, what you need now is just something really simple. I've got a four point line adaptive component. So if I open that up, Right, it's just a line running through four adaptive points. So that's sort of a, a test kit, if you will. If I close that. I also have a four point tube. So if I edit that, it's also very simple. It's just a square tube with a couple of different sizes in it. So nothing fancy there. So um, what you can do is you can just come in and apply this adaptive component and then array it. I divided these curves right by the same amount. They're um, set to 100 and there's a parameter on it. So you open up the family types and there's a divide parameter that controls them. So um, to do that you can just pick the curve and if you go or pick the divide and whoops it's not picking the divide. There we go. There it is. And if you click on that little square next to number, it'll allow you to assign a parameter. And if there's not one there, you just add one and it adds it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do the four point line first. So I'm going to drag this in. And I typically will not pick on the endpoints first because there's double points there and I want to make sure I get the nodes. So I'm going to pick one point there, come up to this guy. Pick one point there, come over to this one, whoops, a little slow, pick one point there, and then come down to the bottom and pick one point there. So that's placed that in there. Now what I can do with that is I can use my array and pick that come down to modify and array that right through those curves and it will go and array that. So that's just a line arrayed through those curves, right? And so now I can come in and if I want, let's do a, a little adjustment and see if it breaks or not. Um, let's adjust, we've got the amplitude here. So let's adjust the amplitude. So I'll come in and change the amplitude to how about 25 and apply and you see that that amplitude pulls up okay change it back to 19 and apply let's go now the other thing that we can do and I'll tab I'll pick this and because I have that four point tube in here, I can go to the type pull down and I can pick the four point tube rectangle and it'll go through and replace that line with the rectangle version, right? And also because I have the divide right set up, I can come in and change the number of divisions. Okay, so I'll change that to, to 50 and click OK and it should update those divisions. Alright, so that's that's that guy.